Hello and welcome back to another quick tutorial with your instructional coach, Leslie Johnson. So today we're going to talk about Flipgrid. Um, we have been playing with it in our PLC classroom. To find it, I just Google Flipgrid and then I'm going to click there or as you saw the address is just flipgrid.com. I already have an account so I'm going to click on the educator login. If you don't have one, you can click on the educator sign up. But it links to your Google account. So I already logged in. Um, normally it would prompt you to either uh, log in with your Google account or your Microsoft Outlook account. Make sure you click that Google account so it syncs with Google Classroom. Now this is what my grids look like. I only have one grid that has three different topics. Um, it's our playing around with um, Flipgrid. So if I want to create a new grid, I'm going to come over here, add a new grid. I can give it a name and we're gonna call this one checking in. And this is what really sets Flipgrid apart from other things that I've used. Um, it's a very closed circuit. So you can choose that students use their school email. You can create a list of student IDs or we can do a public and PLC. Now the public and PLC group means that users need to be 16 years of age and older. So for our purposes, we're gonna to stick to the school email because then it means that our students um, can only use that GISD account. Now down here, I can do um, a new code. And before I had done La Johnson, so it's not available. I'm gonna do La Johnson, S-T-H-S, nope. Okay, so I settled on S-T-H-S PLC. Go ahead and click next. And then I can add that school email. And I've set it up to be gisd.k12.nm.us. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. So my grid is ready. And here is where the magic happens. I can share to Google Classroom. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on that and then it opens here. I can choose the class and it's going to go to our PLC class. I can choose the action. I'm going to create an assignment instead of an announcement. I'm going to go ahead and click go. And this is going to be our check in. Okay, so I've put in all of the assignment information. Now remember, when we are creating an assignment, the most important thing to look at here is that for, do I want it just for that one class or do I want to assign it to multiples? So that's up to you if you have one grid per class or if you have just one grid for everyone. Now I'm assigning this to all students. I changed the due date. My topic is do this today. And I am going to schedule this assignment so it's not completely ready yet. I'm gonna send it out at, we'll see, 10.30 a.m. I'm gonna go ahead and click schedule. And then I think that pop-up is gone. Your post has been scheduled. So I go back here and I click on the go to your grid. And this is where I can either like delete this topic or, um, I can add a new topic. So I'm gonna add a new topic before I get rid of it. So this is my checking in week one. I can change the amount of time. I'm gonna make it five minutes. I can add a question or um, text here. I can add an emoji or a jiffy, giffy, however you wanna pronounce that an image, a YouTube video, I can upload a video, I can record a video. Um, and there's just so many different options. Um, so let me pause this again. Okay, so I added a question, I added a, a Jiffy or Giphy, and I need to move myself and go ahead and create topic. So then my topic is ready. So I could alternately copy this particular link but since I've already put it in Google Classroom, I don't necessarily need to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click all set. And there we have it. So hopefully you feel like, yeah, Flipgrid is pretty easy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go back and you see here, I have my check-in is scheduled for 10.30 a.m. So that's gonna go live in an hour and a half. And it's just that easy. 
All right, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions, suggestions, or um, just how you're doing. Thanks for watching.